chance to run out to the car a little bit earlier, and it is a, quite a nice day out it's there. It's so very far. nice so far. Yeah, beautiful day. Lots of sunshine, dry weather as well, and really no mm -hmm. humidity out there to contend with. And it's going to be a little bit on the warm side today, but really not too bad. Our average high this time of year, 77, will be up in the mid 80s today. So a little bit warmer than normal, but still. It could be a lot worse. Here's a look at our Brookside camera. You can see lots of sunshine out there, even some fall colors starting to show up there in the trees. A little bit of reds there. And you'll start to see a lot more of those fall colors here in the next uh, few weeks as we get deeper into October. Here's a look at uh, Storm Shield radar now. Again, nothing going on. No rain to speak of. Dry conditions for today. Temperature wise, we're looking at mid to upper 70s now across the metro. We started things off this morning in the 50s and 60s. Right now we're at 75 in Jinx, the same at the airport in Owasso, Collinsville, Uluga, now 75. Looking at 74 right now in Vanita, 79 already in the McAllister area. And these temperatures are a little bit warmer than yesterday by a few degrees. So again, it'll be Maybe a tad bit warmer than yesterday, just by maybe a degree or so. Here's a look at the dew points again into the 50s, some 60s, but mainly in the 50s now. So uh, feeling pretty dry out there. Again, really not much humidity at all. So that's the good news. Those winds will be out of the southeast today at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. You can see a little more wind as you head further to the west this afternoon. Here's a look at your day planner for your Monday. Again, 83 by 2 p.m. Highs today at 85. Lots of sunshine, 82 by 6 p.m. Should be perfect weather if you're heading out to the fair this afternoon. Lots of sunshine. Feeling pretty good. High pressure down to our south. We're watching this powerful low pressure system way off to our west, centered near Salt Lake City. This will be moving through toward midweek. It'll bring some thunderstorm chances and also some cooler temperatures behind it just in time for the weekend, it looks like. For future uh, future track for today, we're looking at mainly a lot of sunshine. Nothing really going on. Nothing to worry about this afternoon as we head into tomorrow morning. Increased cloud coverage. And as we head toward tomorrow afternoon, we could see some thunderstorms try to pop up later on during the day to the west of I-35 and they will try to make a run at our area toward the nighttime hours, especially about 10, 11, 12 a.m. on Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. Those kind of linger on and then move out of our area by Wednesday mid-morning. Now some of those storms could be strong to severe off to our west, especially tomorrow afternoon and evening. By the time they reach our area, they will be weakening. So most of the severe activity tomorrow, mainly off to our west, especially far northwestern Oklahoma up into Kansas. They could be talking about some large hail, some damaging winds, even some tornadoes out there possible tomorrow afternoon and evening in far western Oklahoma. For us, the main threats for tomorrow evening, especially lightning, some damaging wind gusts, possibly some large hail. We'll be tracking it, but again, the worst of it should be just to the west of our area. Afternoon forecast for today into the mid to upper 80s. Again, a warm day. Southeasterly winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour the next seven days. It looks like this thunderstorm chances through midweek, a 30% chance for Wednesday. Best chance for widespread thunderstorms are going to be on Thursday afternoon, a 60% chance. And again, behind that system, we'll see a cold front. Temperatures down to around 67 for a high Friday and temperatures mainly in the 70s. Looking like a good weekend ahead for Saturday and Sunday. Tonight, over to you.